What melee weapon is the best in Blood and Iron? First we will be looking at player damage. Then we will be looking at building damage. Then finally we will be looking at other factors that are important to take note of. Let's not waste any time and let us start. Also a reminder, I didn't add lands. First category, player damage. Sword, saber, slash hand axe. Bayonet. Saber briquet slash sword bayonet. Sapper axe slash sledgehammer slash war shovel slash branch. Knife slash sickle slash partisan hammer. War scythe. The Sapper Axe, Sledgehammer, War Shovel, and Branch do the most damage overall against players, with them being a 2 hit kill. While not having the greatest range, these weapons are definitely some of the scariest to go up against in a 1v1 or just in general in a melee fight. The Pike has the greatest range overall out of every one of these weapons, doing the same damage as most, being a 3 hit kill. The knife slash sickle and partisan hammer have the worst range and damage of all the weapons tested, each being a 5 hit kill. Next, we will look at which weapons are super effective against buildings. The clear winner in this category is the partisan hammer, with a construct damage stat of 90 while also having the lightning fast swing speed of the knife, it is no surprise that this weapon is the greatest when it comes to destroying buildings. The next best weapon against buildings are the sapper axe and sledgehammer. The worst melee weapon against buildings is a tie. It is between the knife and sickle as well as the branch. Yeah, the branch can do extreme damage against players, however, the branch is complete garbage against buildings, only doing a maximum of 20 damage. The sickle and the knife do a construct damage stat of a measly 10, however, at least the knife and sickle have a lightning fast swing speed while the branch is significantly slower. The worst in this category, in my opinion, has to be the branch. Other noteworthy things to know. The knife, sickle, and hammer have the fastest walk speeds in the entire game. That means that instead of fighting in a normal 1v1, you are able to just run away and outrun most players. However, you cannot block in sword fights with any of these weapons. The pike has the greatest range, but has one of the worst walk speeds in the entire game. It also has a huge profile, which makes you a bigger target compared to other players. However, the pike absolutely destroys enemy horses, instantly killing them with one swing. The war scythe can be used downward, making a sort of bayonet that does the same damage. The war scythe also has a weird hitbox, hitting more effectively to players near the left of your vision. With all of this in mind, it is time to choose the best melee weapon in Blood and Iron. The winner is... The Sledgehammer. I believe that the Sledgehammer is the best weapon in the game. With the Sledgehammer being categorized as a heavy weapon as a partisan, being a partisan exclusive, you can basically have two melee weapons, unlike a Sapper Axe where you can only have one. Having two melee weapons, one that does heavy damage, as well as having a secondary that can be used in different scenarios, makes this the best weapon in Blood and Iron. Now it's time for the worst Blood and Iron weapon. This was a tough choice because a lot of the worst weapons have their ups and downs. So I asked 1% battery server, link in the description, on what they thought was the worst blood and iron weapon. Many of them said the knife or sickle, and while I can see why they would choose that, 
that being the inability to block, awful range, and a 5 hit kill damage. The fact that you can become lightning fast with the knife, as well as having a really fast swing speed, makes it underrated in my opinion. So, the worst blood and iron weapon is awarded to... The Sword Bayonet, or Saber Briquet. Why? Well, the fact that it is only a 4 hit kill really hinders this weapon. As well as being a 4 hit kill, it also does horrible construct damage, has awful melee range, doesn't have a walk speed plus like the knife. Fun fact, running with your rifle in hand is faster than running with your sword bayonet and the blocking damage on this sword is straight up dookie poopy fart. I would rather not be able to block but still be lightning fast and that's why I believe it is the worst blood and iron weapon in the game. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, please leave a like and a sub. We're almost at 500 subscribers. We have went from 300 to 400 in less than three weeks, which is completely insane. The growth has been exceptional and I'm grateful for every one of you guys. Also, be sure to join Battery server, link in the description. Uh, we host games and game nights occasionally. And yeah, take care and I'll see you later. Goodbye.